Alrighty, welcome back guys. In the last video, I showed you how to create a menu which structures your website. What we're going to do in this particular module is to teach you how to build a blog website. Remember I said there are different kinds of website. There are corporate websites, there are e-commerce, and there is blog, which pretty much is a site that you share knowledge, information, articles, on what's the first thing to do in such a case ideally if you are to build a blog website maybe for yourself or for your clients you should go head on and search for a blog related wordpress template in our case this thing that we have installed is a multi-purpose thing which means it has different demos on it it has a demo about wellness it has an e-commerce it has for non-profits he has for corporate, for freelancer, e-commerce, all sorts. And this was one we installed before. It was a corporate, but we want to build one for a blog. So I'm going to look for the blog demo here and click on import. Because I've imported this again before, I'll just click on re-import. First thing, so that done, let's go to the site and refresh to see what we have. All right, see, there we go. Let's look at our theme right here. All right, that done. Let's say that, okay, this has so many, I guess because of the multiple reinstalls that I did, it's showing so many menus. So good challenge, let's go fix it, right? Let's go to appearance real quick, menus, and what do we do? This is currently showing us, see, it's showing us menu. So what we're gonna do is let's just go back and select Zina, or let's create a new one altogether. That's better. So okay, let's do that. Um, we're gonna call the menu of menu blog menu. Make it the top navigation. If you click on this, it means you want this menu you are creating to be set as the one that people will see at the top here. All right also the top right pretty much all this for just click on that and create menu then add our pages i want to add the landing page pretty much um what other page would i want to add all right creative no i don't want that pretty much this page but let's say i do i want a contact page all right add menu and then I'm going to really quick change the name to home. Click the drop down and then I'll change this one to contact. You can customize yours as, as you want. Okay, so let me refresh now. See, home and contact period. That's what we have here. Shaking on. All right, the next thing I'm going to do then is to show you how to clean up this page. Let's say you don't want your own arrangement to be this way. What do you do? How do you do that? This is what brings me to what we call page builders, using page builders. You know I've been talking a lot about the fact that the way we build WordPress sites is to download templates and start editing. Page builders are what make it possible for us to edit a thing, pretty much. And that's what we'll be doing next. So whenever you're on any page in WordPress, as long as you are logged in to the admin side, when I mean admin, logged in like we are right now, you would always see this thing at the top that says edit with WP Bakery page builder. If he's calling the name, it means that there are other page builders. There's Elementor and hopefully we'll use a theme that has Elementor as the page builder, but they work the same way. So what I would do is I'm going to click on this edit with WP Bakery. I won't go too much into this so that you don't, you know, get confused. This is where it gets tough and not so interesting, I have to tell you. All right, so here's our site. If you notice, whenever I hover on any element, it brings out this thing for me. It says post page loop, da, 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 da. So WP Bake Bakery is one type of page builder. They have other types, but this is one of the most common. 
and actually i would recommend that you use this page builder because it's quite easy to use this is one item here see this says salient mark let's assume we don't want us to read salient mark we want it to be read yada mark what do you do whenever you hover on an element or any section you would always see this pop up here split line heading what will i do click on edit and then look for where the text is that says salient mag so i'm going to change that to yada mag choose text font size in case you want yours to be smaller than it currently is maybe it's too bold for you you can switch it down to h2 h1 is the biggest down to paragraph so note it's not the other way around text color as well you can change the color maybe i want my color to be um what color could i want let's say i want this green okay oh, on nah. all right i'll click that pretty much and just say save changes because this is the front end see yada mag done so let's say I want to add something else under this section, maybe another headline. What am I going to do is at the top here, you see element navigator. Okay, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, salient, is it salient templates? Nope. All right, now let me go down. Okay, so you can see that this page has many other parts. This place that is saying something like reading is a passport. If you don't want any section in your site, for example, your blog doesn't need this, reading is a passport, blah, 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 blah. What do you do? If you hover on this part, you see this X sign. This old place, you know I taught you row and columns. This place is a whole section. This that is now made of two columns. This is one column. This is one column. Let's say I don't want this fire thing showing here. Maybe I want to have one image there instead. What do I do? In that case, do not delete the entire column. The column, as you'll see, is this area that the bounding box is hovering around. What I want to delete is the element inside. I'm not trying to remove this whole structure. The same thing with this. When I hover here, you see a yellow outline all over this section. But then there's another green inside on this whenever I hover on the text, which means if I'm to make an edit on the text, this is what I will use as i would do right now reading countless maybe i want to reduce that line reading is a passport let's say i want to reduce that to this and then as you can see you can set font size depending on what works for you let me warn here you're going to have to do a lot of testing and trying in this part even as a professional you can set the size and it doesn't work simply come back reset it so i'll save changes right now and let's see what happens see that reading is a passport has gone these two are different that's why when i hover on this is now showing another one different from this see all right so in case i don't want this i can just click on delete and that's gone if i don't want this part too what do i do delete and for this image I don't want this image to be here. I want a still image, like a static image. So I'm going to delete this. Now, when I do that, in each box, you are going to notice, you need to be observant here, like a, a plus sign, which means add. That's like saying, what element do you want to add here? I'll click on that element. Now, let's get familiar. This is where it gets tough, really or boring, but I hope to make it simple for you this is just saying these are the different elements that you can add to your page you can add a text you can add a single image you can add a call to action which means a button a fancy box a toolbox i will just use this opportunity to show you you know a couple of them and then we're going to get to publishing our articles in the later video because i have to take my time on this all right so let's say we want a different image here i'll click on it single image all right what image do you want see select image from library add image 
there are two sides to this there is upload files maybe you want to upload a fresh picture that is not ready on your site that's one but if not you can just click your media library media library is where you find every picture that is updated on your server already you can always pick them okay maybe i want this image instead i'll just click on this and click set image okay and save then let's see what happens can you see i just changed the image on this side so let's say i want to add a paragraph under this guy this reading is a passport what do i do in the same way whenever you hover on it click on this or oh wait let me see i want to see if i can drag okay good this line at the bottom is where you can add fresh elements let's say we want to even create a new row that there is nothing inside before you know here we had a lot of things inside all the strategic which in fact i'm going to delete let me hover on this and then i'm going to delete this i want to delete this whole row deleted see colon deleted i want to delete everything here so that i want to be left with a clean blog page the reason why i'm taking my time to show you this is this is where the work is really in building a website is you know doing justice to your template by the way there is another way to edit this thing that i'm doing but this one is easier for you because this is the front end editor front end editor means you are seeing what you are doing as you are editing it at least as i'm hovering on this i'm seeing all the text it comes with I'm going to show you what backend editor looks like later on. I want to remove this guy here. Um, where are you? I'll come back to that later. So let me show you how to add a new click on this. In that case, you want to add a row. All right. A row. Where's our row? Where is our row? Ah, Busola must be happy hearing this. Where is our row? Okay, I'm going to click that again. Or did it add to the top? Mm. All right, here is it. Good. See, just panning across, no structure. The first thing you want to do when you add a row like this is you want to determine how many columns you want it to fall in. Do you want it to just be divided into two so that you can do something like add an image to the left or a text to the right? So I'm going to click on the top here. There's a drop down. Click on this row and then you see change layout. They have some default layout here. This is the default. It's just straight. If you notice, this one is like line line and with a space in between, which means you want to divide this row into two. This one is also two, but one part is longer than the other. So depending on what you need. And this one is three. This is four. This is two. So I'm just going to do the one with two and click on update. Update. So let me check that. something is wrong you know what i'll do first let me just update this and then i'm going to pick it up in the next video i don't want this to be too long all right updated